The city of L.A. is expanding restrictions on RV parking on local streets, making it illegal to park overnight in many west side neighborhoods. The new restrictions come amid L.A.'s homeless crisis and a surge in the oversized vehicles being used as housing units, often parked along residential streets. KTLA's Rick Chambers live in Westchester with the plan tonight. Rick. Yeah, Micah, these changes are going to affect Council District 11. That's one of the biggest in the city. It encompasses Venice as well as LAX. Councilwoman Park, who represents the 11th and is relatively new to the council, said that she campaigned on fixing homelessness and that this is just one step along that path. Right now, the number one thing that we're getting complaints about is the RVs. L.A. City Councilwoman Tracy Park referring to the hundreds of often dilapidated RVs that are parked along neighborhood streets here on the west side. In many cases, these vehicles are unsafe, unsanitary, they may be inoperable, and they present a lot of environmental concerns and public safety concerns as well. So the city council voted Wednesday to restrict parking on more than a dozen streets to both RVs and commercial vehicles between 2 and 6 in the morning. A myriad of complaints from local residents had sparked the action. We hear a lot about theft, drug use, drug manufacturing, prostitution, and other types of crimes that really detrimentally impact the quality of life of our local neighbors. Signs are already up in some places, but compliance and enforcement has been lacking. You need more time. You need time. I need a, you know, two or three months to accumulate money to get out of here. 83-year-old Mike Alinsky lives in his pickup truck out here. He claims that he's a vet, receiving $1,500 a month from Social Security, and can't afford license plates, let alone towing and impound fees. I should be able to... Um, you know, have some cut some slack somewhere because I don't like living like this, but I'm, I'm a tough guy. I roughed it up in the military and I, I'm roughing it up now to accumulate enough money to get out. Even though Mike's smaller vehicle isn't included in these parking changes, Council Member Park believes that he can be aided by the new rules. Our goal here is to actually try to get people out of these unsafe, unsanitary conditions into safer settings and to get some of these dangerous vehicles off the streets. Now, it will likely be weeks and weeks before all of these no parking signs are put in place. Meanwhile, we understand volunteers are going to be contacting some of those residents in the RVs, letting them know that changes are almost here. In Westchester, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, I'll throw it back to you in Hollywood. All right, Rick, thank you.